thought I'd give some people information about the Batwing awning from Princess Auto, which is about 350 plus taxes, Canadian. It is um, inexpensive, however, you get what you pay for. You're not going to get the quality and the sturdiness of the thousand dollar plus awnings. So once you open it up and you pull all the uh, arms out, you have you're left with this. You're left with a section that you have to do yourself. So this is the first actual arm that you pull out. Then there's this one and this one here, and then there's one in the far corner. So once you pull it all out, you are pulling the furthest one, the smallest, shortest one, all the way across, and then it has a rope or a tie down strap that you can tie down, which I have tied down to my roof rack. And that holds that one solid. It doesn't need a pole, it doesn't come with a pole. You could put one in if you needed to, but it doesn't come with one. The first pole you have to put in this, this arm here, and then you have to put in a pole in this arm, and in this arm, and then on this loose fabric here, you are given three poles that you put in yourself. So this, this one here you put in first, extend a pole, and you snap it closed taut. It goes into the pole tip spike through the awning. Then you put the other one from that pole tip spike awning across to the pole tip of the next one and stretch it out and then clamp it. So the black clamp there. The third one is this one you see here, which has the white portion. It's a little plastic clamp that just goes around that bar. And you would first put it in, same with the first one, they go into a little pocket in the awning. So you put it in the awning pocket, bring it across, clamp it with that little C plastic clamp, whatever it is, and then make sure it's all taut and clamp this. Once you're done that, of course, I would suggest that you put your poles, standing poles first, which are twist lock ones. And if you're at an angle, they only go so high. So right now I'm doing it in my driveway. And this one here is at its maximum height. Um, actually, I'm probably risking it a bit. Uh, but I find they could have almost been a little longer. They're not the sturdiest, I would say. And then you'd want to, for sure, tie them all down. Right now it's a non-windy day. So I'm able to get away with this, but the first time I tried it out, it was windy and I needed at least two of two guide uh, tie down straps for every single pole. And I bought bigger um, spikes because the ones they come with are trash. So you'd want to get better spikes and more strings. I'd say order yourself some nail spikes, which will come with strings and tie downs. Um, and put at least two per pole. So you'd need at least eight of them. As you can see, I have four, there's four poles that they give you the extended poles that go on every arm plus the last one. For 350, it's not bad, but what they could have done better is they could have at least given some sort of um, Velcro straps here in some sections that could have strapped around and you could have velcroed them so it stays because I found that the wind catches it and lifts it right, right off and makes it a sail. So had they done that, at least it would have been attached more to the pole. So they could have done at least a couple, like maybe at least one per section, ideally two, uh, between like to here, to here, and then maybe two or three here would have been ideal. And actually, maybe a couple in the middle part. That would have just made it a bit more solid and I don't think it would have cost them much more. I'm gonna see if I can find somebody who can do that for me. But again, for 350, you're getting six and a half uh, across here and about five in the back from what I measured. 
so from the back about five to there now I put mine not exactly all the way to the tip of my roof it's more like that well you can see at least four inches in at least or something so I mean you probably could put it a little further back and get a bit more at the back if you wanted I come in myself through this door that's my bedroom everything like that in there so I come in through this door so I like to have nice coverage from the rain from there and then when I'm cooking and doing whatever in the back I have that open as you can see my tailgate can open all the way to the end of the pole which is nice doesn't knock into it and um, I can open everything up pull my drawers out take the screen off to, so I can get in and out that way if I want to but ideally I go through the other door but for again for the price you pay it's pretty decent I'll go and take a picture from this side there's no wind this morning so it's not bad but when there's wind boy that's a big kite so you might want to definitely tie those down see about getting some straps sewn in like I'm thinking of doing and uh, enjoy it if you do buy it